Hello dear students, uh, now today we will discuss one more topic regarding our analytical ability logical reasoning part. The topic name is alphabet test. Aksharam alapayana samasyalo anta. Alphabet test. Already uh, if you remember in previous sessions uh, we know already we have discussed uh, two chapters that is letter series and coding decoding. In this letter series and coding decoding uh, we assigned some numbers to the alphabets. What does it mean? A equal to 1, B equals to 2, C equal to 3 and so on. Okay, Like that we assigned some numbers to the English alphabets which are having 26 letters. Okay, In that A, E, I, O, U are the vowels. This part already we have seen. Okay, Regarding this alphabets only, now we will discuss one more topic that is alphabet test. Okay, There are 3, 4 patterns are there, 3, 4 types are there. We will discuss each type by taking some examples. Okay, Let us start first type. Before going to start the questions, remember you must have an idea about the numerical numbers of English alphabets. Means A means 1, B means 2, C means 3, D means 4, E means uh, uh, 5 and so on, X, Y, Z like that. Okay, You must have an idea about all these numbers. Okay, now we will start the first type of questions regarding alphabet test. Okay, question as follows. Uh, see here, observe here. First type is about uh, arranging the given words in alphabetical order. He may give four words or five words or six words. So recently in our TSPAC examination, in AE examination, this type of questions are asked. Arranging the given words in dictionary order. Okay, so now there are uh, he given five different words. So what are here meaning is not necessary. You need not to know the meaning of that. You need not to know the pronunciation of that. Okay, simply what you should know is how to arrange the given letters or how to arrange the given words. Okay, usually for example in, in dictionary we'll, we 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 see that all letters will starting with a, then again a a, again a b, again a c. A D A E and so on A X A Y A Z and again A B and again A C and again A B A A B A B again A B A C and so on like that. So dictionary order will follow. Here he given five different words. So first word is about what? First word is qualify and second word is what he given quarter and third word is what he given quarrel. Here meaning pronunciation is not required. Remember and. Um, Next word is what he given query and uh, next one is what he mentioned quaver q u a v e r here spelling is very important okay now we will observe here in all the given five words in all the given five words all are started with a q u a only q u a q u a q u a you have to eliminate all the common letters my intention is I have to arrange the given all the uh, words in dictionary order. There are five letters he given, five he may give, four he may give, six he may give. Out of these five letters, you need to eliminate all common letters. In all the given five words, in all the given five words, Q U A, Q U A, Q U A and Q A. This is common. So next letter, uh, next letter in first word is what? L. Next letter in second word is what? R. Next letter in third word is what? Again R. Next letter in fourth word is what? Again R. Next letter in fifth word is what? V. Right? After Q U A. See, observe here interesting part. Q U A, Q U A, Q U A, Q U A, Q U A. This part is common. So next here, qualify he mentioned. We will take better. Qualify. Next, uh, quarter he given. Q U A R T E R Q U A R T E R Next Q U A R R E L Next given Q U A R R Y Query And finally Q U A V E R Q U A V E R See interestingly Q U A Q U A Q U A Q U A Q U A This part is common Okay So now we will focus on remaining what remaining letters Here remaining is L is there Here remaining R is there Remaining R is there Remaining R is there. Remaining V is there. See, according to alphabets, first which one you will get? Will you get V or will you get R or will you get L? Obviously, L or V. Out of these three letters, next what you get here? L only you will get. Hence, so first term, if you will number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will assign numbers. 
out of these five words, first two words will come. First two words itself will come because Q U A Q U A Q U A common. Next L is there, R is there, R is there, R is there, V is there. Out of these, first you will get the only L. After L, you will get the R. After R, you will get the V. That is the procedure. That's why first time getting what we can say qualify. Secondly, anyhow V won't get. Because before V, what will come? R will come. Now we will focus on these three words: quarter, quarrel, and uh, quarry. Focus on this. So here again, R is there, R is there, R is there. So whenever R, R, R common, you need to focus on next one. You need to focus on next one. So what does it mean? Q U A R, Q U A R, Q U A R. So next what will get? Next you will get a T. You will get R. You will get. Again, R you will get. Okay, so R is there, R is there, T is there. Will you get first R, R T? Obviously, will you get R only? That's why you can ignore this. Now again, we'll focus on this. Q U Y R R, Q U Y R R. So next uh, Y is there, next E is there. Will you get E or Y? Obviously, we'll get E only. That's why third word will come first. After third word, you'll get the fourth word. After fourth word, obviously, you'll get the second word. And finally, Q U Y V. So hence, this is the order of the given words. What is the order of the given words? One, three, four, two, five. This is the order in dictionary order. Okay. I repeat this first question because uh, most of you are aware, but still, uh, I need to focus on this. Q U Y eliminate all the common letters. Eliminate all the common letters. Okay, so L is there, R is there, R is there, R is there, V is there. Out of L R V, first you will get only L. So L to only only one name only. But you will get first letter, first word will come first. Then out of remaining four, remaining four, V is there, R R is there. Obviously, we will get the words starting with R. So Q U E R, Q U E R, Q U E R. Next one, T is there, R is there, R is there. Will you get T R R first? Obviously, R you'll get. So out of these two, Q U E R R, Q U E R R. Next E is there, Y is there. So obviously, we'll get E. That's why second word must be E. After E, we'll get Y. That's why next one is four. After this R, we'll get T. That's why next one is what we can say two. And after completion of this, finally we'll get V. That's why the dictionary order is one, three, four, two, five. I hope you understood. One more question based on alphabetical order, arranging the given words into alphabetical order. So second question is what language, right? He given the word language. Better we'll take the words language. L A N G U A G E. And what about the given second word? The given second word is laurel. Spelling is important. L A U R E L. L A U R E L. And next uh, third word. Third word is leisure. L E I S U R E, L E I S U R E, and the uh, next one is laps, L A P S E, L A P S E, and the uh, next one is leave, L E A V E, L E A V E. So this one, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. See, observe here. Now we'll arrange all these words into dictionary order. First of all, all are not starting with a, uh, uh, all are starting with L. Right, starting with L, starting with L, starting with L, starting with L, starting with L. Now we'll focus on next letters. So your next letter A is there, A is there, E is there, A is there, E is there. Okay. Now tell me, will you get A first or will you get E? Obviously, you will get only A. That's why uh, we'll focus on L A, L A, L A. We'll focus on this first. L A, L A, L A. After L A, since L A is common. Since L A is common, you have to focus on next word. Next letter is how much? L A N, L A U, L A P. See, tell me, will you get N R U R P? Which one will get first here? Obviously, after L A L A L A, next one is L A N because N means fourteen, U means twenty twenty uh, one, whereas P means sixteen. So obviously, you'll get fourteen one only. That's why in dictionary, first you'll get uh, language. After language, you will get laps, right? After language, you will get laps. After laps, ah, uh, what will get? You will get a uh, laurel. Okay, that is second one. After arranging these three, next term, um, L E is there. L E is there. We have to arrange these these two. L E L E L E common. L E common. And next letter here is I. Next letter here is I. A. 
if next is common again we will go with next letter if that is also common next letter so simply ultimately we have to eliminate all common letters after eliminating all common letters so which letter is come first that's what you should take it as the first word in dictionary okay so here l e l e i is there a is there both are different will you get a or i we shall get first obviously a will get that's why l e a v e next word is leave and finally what will get leisure you get hence this is the dictionary order of the given words okay one more question based on alphabetical order just focus on this uh, next word first word what he mentioned external even okay we will take rough word external okay and uh, what about second word second word is he given extraordinary right second word is given extraordinary the spelling of this is e x t r a o d o r ordinary okay next one is extraction is given right next extraction is given spelling is important you can ignore so what you can say pronunciation right after extraction next what he given so he given extra he given extra so after extra next word is given next word is final word is extremist right extremist so e x t r e m i s t e x t r e m i s t these are the five words what is given again see the one thing is clear you have to eliminate all common letters so here e x e x t e x t e x t e x t e x t common okay now we'll focus on next letter next letter here e is there here r is there here again r is there again r is there again r is there tell me will you get first r r e obviously we'll get first e only after e then only we'll get r that's why so first you'll get external so first word out of these five words in dictionary first will come external after this uh, next r is there r is there r is there r is there so your e x t r e x t r e x t r e x t r e x t r just focus on remaining words remaining words are remain letters are a is there a is there a is there here e is there tell me will you get e r a you will get a you will get after a only you will get e that's why e x t r a e x t r a e x t r a so here o is there here c is there here yeah, nothing is there since nothing is there here extra will come first so after this extra next what is there o is there c is there will you get o or c first you will get c only after c next you will get o that's why so first you will get next first you will get the uh, third one then only you will get the second one so now 1 2 3 4 4 obviously next one is what here e x t r e m i s t extremist extremist you will get the order of these five words is 1 4 3 1 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 comma 5 this is the order of the given words okay i hope you understood arranging these the given words in dictionary order he may give 4 or 5 or 6 whatever okay option 1 you will give like this option 2 you will jumble the numbers option 4 jumbling numbers option 5 jumbling numbers and so on however you have to find out the correct order of the given words in dictionary i hope you understood this uh, one model in alphabet test that is arranging the given words in dictionary order uh, in that you must follow only one procedure that is you have to eliminate all common letters okay if first letter is common then you have to go for second letter in that second letter which letter will come first if in all the given words if second letter is also common then you should go for third letter if that is also common then fourth in that fourth letter which letter will come earlier okay according to english alphabets if that is also common you should go for next letter and so on okay you have to follow this procedure every time to arrange the given words in dictionary order it is very simple uh, we used to refer dictionary every time you will come across all these things anyhow okay now second type of questions uh, in alphabet test see observe the question as follows he given one word what is the given word necessary right he given the word necessary and what he what is the given question if first and third letters see first of all write the given word necessary n e necessary n e c e s s a r y 
okay so this is the given word necessary just observe here n e c e s s a r y just uh, allocate the numbers not english alphabetical numbers just randomly give some integers so what does it mean 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 So, he given nine letter word. Out of that, what he ask you to find? He ask you to interchange first and third. So, he ask you to interchange first and third. Okay. And uh, similarly, after first and third uh, uh, interchange, as also the fourth and sixth. He ask you to interchange the questions fourth and sixth. Similarly, again he ask you to interchange the letters seventh and ninth. Right. Seventh and uh, ninth letters. He asked to interchange all these uh, letters positions in the given word necessary. Okay. Then after this interchange, what he asked to find? He asked to find the uh, which letter would be which letter would be the seventh letter from the left. Right. So which letter would be the seventh letter from the left? So left side nunchi a word lo vache seventh letter area nadu. So now accordingly one and three, four and six, seven and nine will interchange these letter positions. So one and three I need to interchange. So one is N, three is C. N C can be written as what you have to write? C N you have to write. Okay. So he didn't say anything about two. That's why second letter position is as usual. He didn't say anything about the second letter. That's why that position is as usual. Okay, this part is finished. Next, uh, fourth and sixth. Fourth and sixth. So that's why now we'll focus on fourth and sixth. Fourth one is E. Sixth one is S. So E S you should return as S E. Four and six also interchange. There is nothing he mentioned about fifth letter. That's why fifth letter S is again as usual. So then again seventh and ninth. He asked to interchange seventh and ninth. So A Y A Y can be written as Y A. And he didn't say anything about eighth letter. That's why eighth letter R is as usual. Okay. Now <coughs> in the given word necessary, I interchange one three two uh, one three four six seven nine accordingly. Now so this is. Let's say this is complete sentence, the complete word. This is so here. This is left side. This is right side. What he asked to find? He asked to find the what letter would be the which letter would be the seventh letter from left. Which letter would be the seventh letter from left? So we have to find out the seventh letter from left. So two, four, six, and uh, this is so. Why is the seventh letter from the given word necessary? After arranging the or else after interchanging the given letters in the word accordingly, I am getting answer is how much here? Y. Y is the letter which is seventh from the left. I hope you understood. Uh, based on this model, we will discuss one more question about this. In previous question, uh, he given the word necessary, whereas in this question he given the word depression. Okay. First we will write the given word depression. So D E P right. So D E P R E S S right S S I O N I O N. This is the given word depression. This is the given word depression. Just simply first allocate the numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So depression. The given word depression is ten letter words. Ten letter word. <clears throat> Now, so question is what? What he asked to interchange if the first and second letters in the word depression, first and second letters in the word depression are interchanged. He interchanged first and second letters. Okay, so one two comes to two one gara said, and also third and fourth, the fifth and the sixth, third and fourth, the fifth and the sixth, and so on. What does it mean? He interchanged one and two. Right, so he interchanged one and two, and third and fourth. He interchanged third and fourth, and he interchanged fifth and sixth. So he mentioned and so on. So he is interchanging in that way. So means every two two letters are inter interchanged. So one two three four five six. Every two pairs, every pair of letters are interchanged in that. So now 
after that interchange uh, then what he asked to find which letter or else what would be what would be the seventh letter from the right what would be the seventh letter from the right in previous question he asked to find out the seventh letter from left but whereas here he asked to find out the seventh letter from right yes so we'll uh, interchange the given letters in the word accordingly so d e d e you have written as e d because he asked to interchange every two letters 1 2 2 1 3 4 4 3 so p r means what will get r p you will get similarly e s e s means s e you will get s i means i s e you will get o o n means what will get n o you will get and so on e interchanged 1 2 uh, first and second third and fourth fifth and sixth and so on now so this is the new word this is the new word after interchange so this is from left side this is from right side he asked to find out the seventh letter from right seventh letter from right okay so one two three four five six seven therefore what you can say the seventh letter from the right in the given word is what you are getting p we are getting from left means from left from right means from right like this one word will be given so for that uh, sorry one uh, yes one word will be given for that word he asked to interchange something either sometimes he interchange only even letter words sometimes sometimes all letter words sometimes what you can say composite sometimes first half will write in reverse order or sometimes second half in reverse order or sometimes so first letter with last letter second letter with preceding letter and so on first second letter with fifth letter uh, like that he asked to interchange so we have to identify the condition in the given question so by using the condition we have to apply the condition to the given word and accordingly middle letter or uh, sometimes however middle letter or seventh from left or seventh from right and so on so whatever he asked to find we can find out very easily uh, remember you need to have a good idea on instructions how he asked to interchange follow that then definitely you will have a good command on this uh, what you can say type in alphabet test now we will discuss some other models now one more type in that alphabet test see question as follows what he asked to find he given one sequence sequence of letters given sequence of letters given so he asked to find out how many d's are there he asked to find out the d's how many d's are there with some instruction what is the given instruction so how many d's are there in the following series which are immediately followed by w how many d's are there in the following series which are immediately followed by w but not immediately preceded by k but not immediately preceded by k so this is the given sequence k d c w k d w n k g d w w d h k v v d w z d w so he asked to find out how many d's are there which are followed by w but not preceded by k the meaning in the followed by w means d tarvata w ravalata how many d's are there which are followed by w but not preceded by k ante so d tarvata w ostu d ki mundu k lenatuvanti d li enni unnayi antunnadu so he given sequence sequence of letters he given so in that sequence of letters he asked to find out how many d's are there which are followed by w which are followed by w but not preceded by k so means indirectly d w you have to get but before d you should not get k so identify all these here d is there but this d is not followed by k sorry this d is not followed by w you can skip that so this d is followed by w only but it is preceded by k you should not proceed with k that's why we should not take this d and we should not take this d also okay and the next one see observe here this d is followed by w but not preceded by k that's why g w sorry g d w that word also you can take and the following sequence complete sequence so this next next after w again what you given again w given right so after g d w again e given w okay so w the again this d is not followed by w so this d is followed by w but not preceded by what you can say k and uh, after d w is there so this d is followed by w but again it is also not preceded by k so what does it mean 
how many Ds are there in the following series which are followed by W but not preceded by K. Like that, how many we are getting? Simply, we are getting 3 such Ds. Like that. So, not only D, sometimes you ask to find the W also or K also. How many Ks are there or how many Gs are there? How many Ws are there? How many uh, Vs are there? But you ask to, uh, it will give some conditions. Followed by something, some, there are four ways. Followed by something, preceded by something. Followed by, should not followed by this, should not preceded by this. Or followed by this, should not preceded by this. And uh, should not followed by this, but preceded by this. Like this, there are four different models are there with even numbers, odd numbers. See, interestingly, uh, here he given uh, letters because our topic name is alphabet test. Because we are discussing about this, uh, what you can say, uh, sequence with alphabets. Sometimes sequence is having numbers also, numerical numbers also. He will give 0, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, like this, he will give sequence also. That is said to be conditional sequence. So, in that conditional sequence, he will say like this also. How many 7s are there which are followed by even number but not preceded by odd number? I hope you understood. Since this is about alphabet test, we are discussing about alphabet. So, instead of alphabet test, sometimes he may give the numerical numbers also. Numerical number. He may give the big series, big sequence. In that big sequence, what he mentioned, you know, how many, uh, let us say, 5s are there which are not followed by uh, odd number but preceded by a composite number. So, however, okay, by using the given conditions, he asked you to find out. And that kind of series is called conditional series or conditional sequence, we can say. Okay. So, this is about letter sequence because our topic name is alphabet test. We will focus on this. Okay. This is the procedure. So, again, uh, question is follows. What he asked you to find? He asked you to follow or he asked you to find how many A's are there. In previous question, he mentioned this. Now, whereas is how many A's are there? In the following series, which are immediately followed by B, which are immediately followed by B. And uh, next what you mentioned here, as well as immediately preceded by Z, followed by B and preceded by Z. I repeat, he asked to find uh, how many A's are there, how many A's are there, which are followed by B, right. So, which are followed by B as well as preceded by Z. So, A ki mundu Z undalata, A tarvata B undalata, alanti A's in unna yanadu. How many A's are there in the following series, which are immediately followed by B, which are immediately followed by B and also preceded by Z. See, observe here. So, here A is there. This A is not followed by and even it is not preceded by something. So, you can ignore that A. So, observe this A. This A is preceded by Z but not followed by B. You should not take that also. So, now observe this A, it is not followed by B. Observe this one, it is followed by B only, but not preceded by Z. So, A undi, A tarvata B undi kaani, A ki mundu Z undali. Ala leidu. So, you can ignore that. And now, uh, focus on this A. Yes, this A is followed by B and it is also preceded by Z. A tarvata B undi, so A ki mundu Z undi. So, now again focus on this. See, if you observe here, it is not followed by B. Okay, you can ignore that. Now, again, uh, what about this? So, it is not followed by B, not preceded by Z. You can skip that. Similarly, if you observe here, followed by B, preceded by Z. And similarly, if you observe this Z, followed by Z, no. So, if you take this, followed by B, preceded by Z. So, how many such A's are there? Simply, by observation, 3 A's are there, 3 A's are there which are simply followed by B again preceded by what you can say preceded by Z. Okay, Like this some conditional letter series will give by using letter series A R Z R P R Q ask you to find you have to find you have to locate this. Okay, Sometimes you, need, you can take in this way also it does not mean that uh, for example one letter follows like this Z A B Z A B uh, let us say Z A B I am getting. Z A B Z A B I am getting. Okay. So, Z A B is one thing and Z A B is also another thing. Sometimes he will say like this. So, Z A B uh, for example, uh, let us say here A B Z. He will say like this. How many A's are there which are simply followed by B? How many A's are there which are simply followed by B? How many or else how many A's are, how many A's are followed by B 
preceded by B. I repeat, how many A's are there? Followed by B, preceded by B. So, I will Z Tarawata B and Z Mundu Koda B. Undali. Alauna A's in Nanadu. So, A is followed by B, but not preceded by B. So, you can skip this. So, this A is followed by B, preceded by B. So, you are getting one thing. So, for example, if you will take like this, here also, for example, uh, let us say B A B is there. B A B. So, now you can overlap in this also. You can overlap in this way also. You can overlap in this way also. Okay. I hope you understood this concept. So, uh, like some instructions will be given. According to instructions, you have to follow the, uh, you have to find the given letter. Either D or Z or something else. Okay. Now, we will discuss next model in this alphabet test. Okay. So, now one more model. Just now we have seen conditional sequence of letter. So, now he given some other model. What he asked you to find? The question is, is follows. Which letter is exactly midway between the G and Q in English alphabet? I repeat, which letter is exactly midway between the English alphabets G and Q? So, the meaning is English alphabets low G ki mario Q ki exactly middle on the letter A. Okay, I repeat, which letter? See, question is very clear. Which letter? Which letter is exactly midway between G and Q in English alphabets? Which letter is exactly midway between G and Q in English alphabets? So, usually, we will write the complete alphabets. So, what does it mean? If I don't know any trick, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and what you can take? Q, you can take, right? So, uh, from G to P, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. But what he asked you to find, which letter is midway, means which letter is exactly middle in between G and Q. So, E, G, K, Mario, Q, K, exactly middle on the letter. So, just count all the letters. If you count all the letters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, how many I am getting? I am getting total 11 letters. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So, when I am getting 11 letters, remove first letters, first 5 letters and last 5 letters. So, simply remove first 5 letters and last 5 letters. If I remove this first 5 and last 5, which letter is exactly in between, uh, what you can say, G and Q, I am getting L letter. Uh, so, if you will observe here, in between G and Q, we are getting only few letters. That's why by writing all letters, we can exactly find out the middle letter between G and Q. So, if not, sometimes you may mention the question like this. Which letter is exactly midway in between the letters? For example, B and Y. So, B and Y, in between B and Y, many letters are there. So, writing all the letters in between B and Y and finding exactly uh, mid letter, uh, what you can say, middle letter in between B and Y. So, you may get, but it is uh, some, what you can say, time taking. So, to avoid that, what we will do is, uh, we will follow some other procedure. So, instead of doing this one, we will take some other procedure. So, let us say, this is type 1 part and we will discuss now type 2 part. So, type 2 part is simply, he asked to find out which letter is exactly midway, midway between the letters G and Q. So, G, G means how much there here? G is equals to 7 and uh, Q, Q means how much here? 17. We know already this numbering. G means 7, Q means 17. Now, find out the mid letter. So, to find out mid letter, what you have to do is simply 7 plus 17 by 2. 7 plus 17 by 2. So, 24 by 2. 24 by 2 means what I am getting? 12 I am getting. Therefore, in English alphabet, what we can say? 12th letter is exactly in between G and Q. So, whatever the letter he, give, he will give, A and B will give, B and Y will give, or X and uh, what you can say, Z will give, or what we can say, I and T will give, whatever the letters. First, you have to take the corresponding numbers. So, here G and Q is there, G means 7, Q means 17. And uh, applying, finding half of that, I am getting 12. So, hence, 12th letter in English alphabet is what I am getting, L I am getting. So, this is the procedure. But sometimes all the letters, all the given questions need not have the middle letters. The, what I mean to say is, if I am, when I am counting all these letters, I am getting 11 letters. Since it is odd number, see I am getting from G to Q, total I am getting 11 letters. Since it is odd number, I can able to find out the exact mid letter. Okay? For example, instead of 11, 10 are there or instead of 11, 
12, uh, 12 are there. So what does it mean? If even numbers are there, then which letter is exactly midway between the given letters means the answer is simply so nothing is there. So we cannot find out exactly middle letter. If only number of letters are odd, then only we can find out exactly middle letter. Okay. We will take uh, one two questions further. You will get some idea. See, observe here pre in previous question he mentioned G and Q. Whereas now what he mentioned here, which letter is exactly midway between the letters uh, uh, what he given? K and V given, right? So K and V. Now K and V means K L M N O P Q, right? K L M N O P Q R S T U V. Okay, we can write like that. And in that we have to remove some letters from both sides. We have to remove same quantity of letters from both sides. So we can find out the exact middle letter. So if that is general procedure. But now here we are going to find out in different way. K K means we know already. So here K is equals to how much there? 11. Similarly, V is there. V means how much here? 22. So, K means 11. V means 22. Just now I told you, all the questions need not have, all the questions need not have mid letter between the given letters, given letters in English alphabet. Okay. So, this is that kind of question. K means 11. V means 22. Earlier, G means 7. Q means 17. 7 plus 17 by 2. 24 by 2, half of that is simply 12. But whereas here, what we can take? 11 plus 22 by 2, 33 by 2. 33 by 2 means, how much I am getting? 2 1s, 2 16s, 16.5. Now tell me, is there any other letter in English alphabet which is indicating 16.5? No. What does it mean? So here, simply we say that answer is not possible. It depends on the given options. Answer is not possible or none of this etc. It depends on the given options. Four options will be given. But what I mean to say is it is not possible to find out the exact middle letter between K and V because here I am getting 16.5. So indirectly what, what, what is the concept here involved is in between K and V. If I will count all the letters in between K and V, obviously you will get even numbers. So since I am getting even numbers, so no letter will be exactly in between the given letters of alphabets. So if you'll get if you'll if I'll get odd numbers only, then I can eliminate same quantity of numbers from both sides. Therefore, remaining number will be exactly in between. So for this question, not possible or none of this, etc. It depends on the given options. Uh, which letter is exactly midway between the letters letters? What are the given letters here? J and X he given. So he given J and X. Same procedure. Procedure is same. Even number, even number, odd number, odd number, even number, odd number, odd number, even number. Okay. So, in that way. Now, which letter is uh, exactly midway? Which letter is exactly midway between J and X in English alphabet? Okay. So, we know one thing is clear. J means how much here? 10. Similarly, X means how much here? 24. We know assigning all these numbers. So, J means 10. X means 24. Even number, even number. So, even number, even number means. So, it is possible. 10 plus 24 by 2, 10 plus 24 by 2, 34 by 2, 34 by 2 means what I am getting? 17 I am getting, right? So 24 plus 10, 34. Half of 34 is 17. So what is the 17th letter in English alphabet? So it's obviously Q. Therefore, the letter Q is exactly in between the letters of what? J and X in English alphabets. So even number, even number means possible. Odd number, odd number also possible. For example, 7 is odd number, 70 is odd number. Odd number, odd number, I am getting some even number. So, even number, even number, I am getting some even number. So, in, in both the cases possible. So, one number is even, another number is odd. Then, it is not possible to find out the exact middle letter between the given letters of English alphabets. Okay. I hope you understood. Now, we will take one more question. The given question is what? Next question. Which letter will be sixth to the left? See, observe here. Which letter is which letter will be sixth to the left of the nineteenth letter from the right end of the alphabets? Nineteenth to the right end of the alphabets. So, to solve this kind of questions, first of all, uh, we need to have a small note. The note follows like this. For example, left plus left he will give. Left and left he will give. It's not plus left and left and sometimes right and right sometimes right and left sometimes left and right 
he will give like this okay so whenever he mentioned left hand left simply you have to find out subtract whenever he mentioned right hand right again you have to subtract simply minus so whenever he mentioned uh, one is right and another is left uh, then simply you need to add both okay the procedure how means we'll discuss there are questions are there based on this concept whenever you will get left hand left you will take minus right hand right means minus right hand left or left hand right simply what you can take here plus you can take so this question is uh, based on this uh, this concept only so what is the given question which letter will be sixth to the left see observe here sixth to the left keep in mind which letter is sixth to the left uh, of 19th letter from the right 19th letter from the right 19th letter from the right in english alphabet the meaning is angla akshara malalo kodi vaipu nunchi 19th akshara aniki edama vaipu nagala edama vaipu nagala aro akshara medi antunnadu okay adi aa question oka meaning malaku sorry angla akshara malalo kodi vaipu 19th akshara aniki ఎడమ వైపున గల ఆరో అక్షరం ఏది అన్నాడు సో అలా కంప్లీట్ ఆల్ఫాబెట్ రాసేసి దాంట్లో నైన్టీన్త్ లెటర్ ఫ్రమ్ రైట్ దెన్ సిక్స్త్ లెటర్ టు దట్ ఆఫ్ లెఫ్ట్ అని చెప్పి ఫైన్ చేస్తే ఇట్ మై టేక్ మోర్ టైమ్ దట్స్ వై దిస్ కెన్ బి సాల్వ్ సింప్లీ బై యూజింగ్ గివెన్ కండిషన్స్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ లెఫ్ట్ మీన్స్ మైనస్ రైట్ హ్యాండ్ రైట్ మీన్స్ హియర్ వీ కెన్ టేక్ వాట్ అగైన్ మైనస్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ రైట్ రైట్ హ్యాండ్ లెఫ్ట్ మీన్స్ సింప్లీ వీ కెన్ టేక్ ప్లేస్ సో హియర్ వన్ లెఫ్ట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ వన్ రైట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ వాట్ యూ ఆర్ టు డూ యూ ఆర్ టు యాడ్ 19 plus 6. 19 plus 6 means how much I am getting? 25 I am getting. See, one interesting thing is, since this question is in English, uh, if it is in Telugu, there is no issue. You may, you may get the idea. Since the question is in English, what here, second, second part uh, is there in terms of eight, left or right. So, this is there in terms of right. So, see, um, observe here. It's a, what you can say? It's a, one, kind, one kind of symbol we can say. Okay? If it is in Telugu, there is no issue. but unfortunately we are going to face the question in english so whenever you you may face uh, that kind of question you need to focus on second part inner part of that inner part of that second part centric part of that uh, sentence so here what is there right side part is there that's why so here in second part is right you have to follow the order you have to follow the order in the given question first left is there then right is there that's why left to right for example right means right right you can take or left means left right we can say see simply what i mean to say is left means take left first then right right means first take right then next one is right right or left one is left means left okay you have to follow simply order and uh, in second part if it is right you have to find out the 25th alphabet from right side okay so now uh, it is by observation it is not possible to find out the 25th alphabet in english english so what does it mean a means 1 b means 2 c means 3 d means 4 and so on these all the letters are assigning d means 4 is it from left side or right side means d is equal to 4 is from left side for example p is equal to 16 p equal to 16 means from left side for example t means 20 from left side the all the numerical numbers what we assigned is is from left side only but what he asked to find indirectly in this question he asked to find out the 25th letter from right side okay by observation by observation it is not possible to find out the uh, given letter or 25th letter from right side for example which letter is uh, 16th letter from right means i can't say from left means it is very clear 16 from right means again there is a procedure the procedure is um, see there is a formula left side number plus right side number equal to 27 you'll get left side number plus right side number is equal to 20 27 uh, you'll get so what does it mean for example p is the 16th letter from right i have to find out the 16th letter sorry p is the 16th letter from left i have to find out the 16th letter from right what i will do to get that i have to subtract that from 27 27 minus 16 27 minus 16 is 11 hence 11th letter from uh, left is k so 11th letter from left is k or 16th letter from right is also what i getting k we are getting i hope you understood so if it is left 20th letter from left what you can say why we can say but unfortunately we have to find out the 25th letter from right side to get the 25th uh, letter from right we need to subtract from 27 27 minus 25 what i am getting 
2 I am getting. So, this 2 is from left side. So, what is the second letter from left? B. So, second letter from B, second letter from left is equal to 25th letter from right. Both are equal. Hence, the answer for this question is equals to what I am getting? B I am getting. We will take one more question so that you will get some idea. Okay. So, what you ask you to find the subject here? Uh, which letter will be 12th letter to the 12th letter to the left letter. Which letter is 12th letter to the left of 17th letter from the left end. 17th letter from the left end. Okay. I repeat the question once again. See what you ask you to find here. Which letter will be? Which letter will be 12th letter to the 12th letter to the left of the 17th letter from the left end. So, in, in this case, both are left only. Since both are left, what you have to do? Simply you have to find out minus. Both are right also minus. Both are left also minus. So, 12th, yeah, indirectly, uh, small number, big number minus small number. Difference you have to find simply. Forget about minus and all. Okay. So, 12 letters minus 17 letters. How much I am getting? 5 letters I am getting. See, observe here. This is left, this is left. That is why you will get simply left only. Fifth letter in English alphabet. Fifth letter from left side. Indirectly, fifth means what will get here? E you will get. For example, think that in staff left in the question, in both the case he mentioned right. For example, twelfth from right to seventeenth from right to. What you will do? Twelfth right to minus seventeen right to. How much you will get? Five. Five will you get from left or right? From you will get from right. Okay. <coughs> Again, to find out the fifth letter from left what you have to do subtract in this from 27 27 minus 5 27 minus 5 means 22 22nd letter in english alphabet is v hence 20 v is uh, 22nd from left or fifth from right hence the answer is uh, what you can say v if it is right both right but in the given question what you mentioned here both left mentioned so both left means 5 i am getting this 5 from left so, fifth letter from left is E. For example, this is right and this is left. Again, you will get left only. I hope you understood. This is right, this is left. What you have to do? You need to add these two. Add these two. Since here I am getting left, you need to take, you need to take left. Okay. So, I hope you understood this model also. See, the next question is given like this. The first and 26th, right? The first and 26th, comma, second and 25th, comma, third and 24th letters of english alphabet are paired see observe here first and 26th second and 25th third and 24th letters of english alphabets are paired so paired means what first and 26th are paired two and 25th are paired three and 25th are paired and so on in english alphabet that is the meaning of the given question right then what he asked you to find uh, which of the following see he given four options right he given four options which of the following pairs are correct which of the following pairs are correct so now we'll take all the options first option second option third option and fourth option so what are the given options here first option is g r e given and second option is second option is c w given third option is i p given and fourth option is E V given. So, how he paired first one with 26th one, second one with 25th one, third one with 24th one, fourth one with 23rd one and so on. Like that he paired. See, if I am adding all these, what I am getting? 27, right? If I am adding all, what I am getting? 27 I am getting. So, you will have an idea. If you know this concept, the meaning involved in this concept is expressing second half of the alphabets in reverse order concept expressing second half of the alphabets in reverse order concept what does it mean a to z b y boy c x crux d w e v okay f u for you on nam g h gandhi tata nam h s hyderabad sikindrabad nam i r j q k what you can say k p on nam okay l o m n and so on that is the procedure so now when the pair is like this so now what will get g means t you have to get but what he given r he given so no c means crux you have to get x you have to get but w given i p i means r you have to give idli ravanam r you have to give so ev ev means evening 
Hence, the answer for this question is equals to what you can say? EV, you can say. If you have a previous uh, knowledge, pre letter series, code and decoding, we have seen this, uh, what you can say, concept, expressing second half of the alphabets in reverse order. So, in that way only, uh, he formed the code. Okay. I hope you understood this also. Uh, one more different concept in alphabet test, final part of this alphabet. What he mentioned here? Study the following information carefully and answer the questions. Study the information carefully and answer the questions. So, he given the sequence R E 5 D A P dollar symbol 3 T I Q 7 9 B ash 2 K percentage U 1 M W 4 star J I T N. Like this, he given some numbers, alphabets, and uh, some signs on computer keyboard, symbols on computer keyboard given ash dollar, okay, star, and all percentage and all, okay. Now, uh, this is the conditional sequence. One question he mentioned. Answer the following uh, Read the key information carefully and he asked you to find out the answer uh, for the given question. In the given question, which letter is exactly in the middle? Which letter is? See, the question is which letter is exactly in the middle between 3 and 1 in the above arrangement. So, in this arrangement, we have to find out the middle letter exactly between 3 and 1 3 key 1 key exactly middle of the letter A the end okay which letter is exactly uh, in the middle between 3 and 1 in the above arrangement so now so here 3 is there here 3 is there and here 1 is there see observe here 3 is there 1 is there we have to count all the numbers just count all the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 right 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 see i am getting total 13 letters from 3 to 1 13 means remove 6 from this side remove 6 from this side so 6 6 means seventh letter will be the exactly middle letter so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 therefore this seventh letter b is said to be the exactly middle letter in between 3 and 1 therefore the answer for the first question is equals to what we can say b we can say so now uh, we will discuss about second question Second question, what he asked to find? Uh, that series is same. The series is same. But what he asked to find? How many such numbers are there? See, we have to find out the numbers. How many such numbers are there in the above arrangement? How many such numbers are there in the above arrangement? Each of which immediately preceded by a consonant. Immediately preceded by a consonant. So here number we have to buy number we have to find this number must be preceded by a consonant right and uh, but not immediately followed by a consonant but not immediately followed by a consonant okay here consonant you have to get but here consonant you should not get such how many such numbers are there see we will focus on only number this is number is this number followed by consonant yes but this number should not be followed by consonant. That's why you should not take this. Now here 3. 3 is it followed by consonant? No. But it must be preceded by consonant also. 3 is it, con sorry, dollar is it consonant? No. You should not take this also. 7. 7 is preceded by consonant and but not followed by consonant. Very, see, observe here. Q79. Q79. 7 is preceded by consonant this number 7 is preceded by consonant yes but not followed by consonant because here 9 is given it's not consonant so one pair is what i'm getting q79 and the next one so 2 it is followed by consonant should not follow and here 1 1 is followed by consonant but should not be followed by consonant so next up there is fourth one fourth number it is not followed by consonant but preceded by consonants so, W4 star and uh, Q79. How many such numbers are there? Two numbers are there which are preceded by a consonant but not followed by a consonant. Okay. I hope you understood this concept. This is also can, some kind of what you can say conditional sequence concept. So, I hope you understood this model also. So, these are the different models we have seen in alphabetical test. Okay. Just focus on English alphabet number, numbering A1, B2, C3 and so on numbering you must aware and apart from the dictionary order and left 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 right right left right right this model okay and uh, some conditional letters given conditional sequence of letters will be given not numbers 
conditional sequence of letters will be given he ask you to find out any one particular letter followed by something preceded by something or not followed by something not preceded by something okay in different different ways you will ask okay so just practice more number of bits definitely you will get the good concept on this chapter it's very simple we have seen letter series coding decoding so like this also uh, this topic is there okay or assign uh, some word will be given he ask you to interchange the letters of the word 1 and 3 5 and 6 like this you have to interchange and you are asked to find out the exact middle or 7th from right or 7th from left and so on. So these are the models we covered in alphabet test.